Hello everyone. Um, today I want to introduce how to use trust in Abacus. Uh, here, very simple example. Uh, this is uh, some material parameters and the geometry parameters every class is one bit long and the and the section is square uh, it is 0 0.05 meter times 0.05 meter. So the boundary condition is just like this. The left support is pinned and the right support is simplified, supported. And the load is at the midpoint. It is about 10 kilonewtons. Okay, so let's transfer to Abacus and uh, create the model. Here I have created the model. Uh, it is very simple. Just uh, we can calculate the coordinate of every point uh, I can oh sorry I can't query so here is the origin it's zero zero and here is one zero and here is uh, 0 0.5 and 1 point um, oh sorry this point the coordinates is uh, like <clears throat> okay this point uh, the coordinate is uh, 0 0.5 and uh, 0 0.866 and here it is uh, uh, minus 0.5 and 0.866 so here we can create the points and then we connect the points with the lens It's very simple. So I have conduct it. And we can query the part type. First, it is in 2D planner and deformable. Here we, when we create the part, we choose the options 2D planner, deformable, and the well. So the size I give to, so I can create it easily. Zero, zero, one, zero. Uh, 0 0.5 0 point at six six and uh, minus one zero minus point five point five point eight six six 
and the way connect them with land. Here, this is the geometry. We have created a part. Here, I delete it. So when we create when we created the part I need to create material as the indicators the yarns modular is two hundred ten and the partial range is point three we just uh, define the elastic parameters and then we need to create a truss section here we need to input the section area it's about it's about 0.0025 and then I click OK. After we have created the cross section, we provide assign it to the geometry. Then it uh, becomes green. Then we just uh, assemble it and create a static general step. Here we just uh, and we just test the static elastic analysis. And the output I have chose the N force. It is the force, nodal force due to element stress. And then we don't have interactions. I just need to define the boundary and the load. As we just seen, the left support is uh, is pinned, so the U1 and U2 is constrained, and the right point is simply support it. So we just uh, constrain the U2 freedom. This is boundary condition and we need to apply a load to the middle the middle point. It's about one ten thousand Newton. It's minus a to the minus y direction so we can mesh it here every every truss is a element so i i make the element size is 1 so it is a just a sixth truss element. Here is an important thing we need to notice. Uh, we need to change the element type to the truss because 
when we didn't do it. It it is beam element by default, so we must to change it by manual. Okay. So we can know the element type is T2, D2, T M plus cross element and 2D is 2D space. Here 2 is 2 node. The element is consists of 2 nodes. Okay. When we have done it, we can create job and give it a name continue then we submit and can get the results here I have I have uh, opened the beam the render beam process if we don't open it it just lands so we open it then we can see the stress and the deformation here we have get the analytical result of the deformation of point B it's about 0 0.0349 millimeters. So here we can see the result is little bigger than the analytical result, but it's uh, the error is uh, smaller than smaller than 10%. It is acceptable. Maybe it's smaller than uh, five percent. You can calculate it. Uh, here I will show you how to how to check the force in every truss. So, uh, first we take off the render beam profile. Uh, we also can check the concentrated, concentrated force, 10,000 newtons. And here is another force. Uh, now we need to check the force in every truss. We need to create free body cut. Here we choose elements and nodes and continue. Here we pick, we choose pick from B port and click edit selection. We choose this truss. And we want to know the force in this truss. So I need to click OK. And here we choose pick from B port. And select this node. And click OK. Here we uh, check the com component resolution. So click OK and here is the here is the force in this truss. It is five thousand seven hundred seventy four newtons and look at the DB element the DB, DD element is about 
kilonewtons. Maybe it's bigger than uh, than CE result. Oh no, and uh, CE result is bigger than the analytical result for Newton. And we can tell the force is tension force. Tension force. Here is positive. And we can also check the AD truss. It's minus force. Yeah, it's uh, compression in compression. And we let we check the AD truss. Here we create a new free body cut and com repeat the steps. Here we can know that this force is in compression, this truss is in compression, and the force is the same, and we can know from here, it's right. Okay, this example is uh, over here, and if you, it is helpful to you, uh, you can subscribe Subscribe me and thank you for watching.